Welcome back to another episode of the Goof Troop in NBA 2K14. Today we're in Dallas trying to get a win against the Mavericks. Now the Mavericks have Paul George and DeMar DeRozan, two dynamic wing players, but we have Swaggy P and Lance Stevenson, and that's all I need. Now the All-Star break is quickly approaching, and right now we are sitting with the ninth seed in the West. We are out of the playoff picture. We're under 500. So I went ahead and made some changes to the roster. First, Jason Collins has been traded along with two second round picks for Kendrick Perkins. So right now our front line on the Goof Troop is looking solid with JaVale McGee, the best center in the league right now. And we have Chris Anderson and Kendrick Perkins. And we also made a coaching change. Mike D'Antoni has been fired and we hired some goofy goober named Tim Schmidt. The reason I hired him is because he had higher defensive and potential coaching grades uh, than Mike D'Antoni. So hopefully uh, we can get on a bit of a run before the All-Star break, get back in the playoff picture, because we're only a couple games out. And I think, look, I think we're a playoff team definitely. We just gotta pick it up in the second half of the season. It's 37 to 32, 150 to go in the first half, and Nate Robinson almost posterizes Tyson Chandler. And Chandler has a foot on Robinson, and that's being generous. But Tyson Chandler did not want any of that. And here's Crawford to JaVale McGee, the goof troop alley oop to end the first half. 43 to 40, we're up by three on the Mavericks. Now, for this game, I really wanted to work the pick and roll offense. Because earlier in the season, in my previous games, I was mainly running some shooters off screens for perimeter shots, like Nick Young and, oh, Paul George. This isn't the dunk contest. Calm down. Let's see this replay. Man, 36-inch vertical, that was more like a 50-inch vertical. But as I was saying, uh, previously in this season, I was usually running Swaggy P on floppy plays or Lance Stevenson on gut cuts uh, to get three-point shots. But today, I'm really working on Nate Robinson in the pick and roll game with the bigs like Birdman or JaVale McGee. And Nate Robinson just picked his pocket, the alley-oop. Oh, that was nice, the no-look alley-oop behind his head. We're up by 13 points, three minutes to go in the game. And Royce White is getting double teamed? Oh my gosh, and there's Kendrick. Kendrick, the great addition, dunking on like three people at once. But when I run the pick and rolls with Nate Robinson and the bigs, or maybe a pick and pop with Beasley, the rotation defense uh, from Dallas is so quick, but they uh, they leave a man open usually on the three-point line. So what I do, I run the pick and roll, draw on the defense, and then usually someone like Metal World Peace is wide open in the corner, or Deshaun Stevenson for three. And we're, uh, we're up by uh, eight points, 50 seconds to go. Now we got the win, but I'm still feeding Kendrick in the post. He's got a show out in his first game as a member of the squad. And look, Kendrick Perkins is getting double teamed in the post. He's too deadly. Swing it. Swing the ball. There you go. The help defense. It's just not enough from Dallas. We're up by 11. Now this is the last possession of the game. I figure, hey, we got the win. Kendrick, do your thing. Double teamed on the perimeter. Nah, I didn't get the buzzer beater. But we got the win 80-71. to JaVale McGee, 14 points and 3 blocks. Lance Stevenson, 11 points. Kendrick Perkins, 10 points in 9 minutes. And Nate Robinson had 11 assists, 2 steals, and 4 blocks.